everyone and welcome to my channel. This video is about how I personally prepared for the Philippine Medical Licensure exam. So let's now talk about how I actually prepared for the actual board exam. To review center or to not review center. Ako nag review center ako. Parang no brainer na yun for me. Nag enroll ako sa. Pati ko bang sabihin. Nag enroll ako sa top notch. And I took the. I took the premium option wherein you have to sit through an entire day and be nag lecture na prof sa yo per subject. I'd rather that a structured uh, table of uh, topics that I have to study has already been. So, nakasulat na kung anong subject, nakasulat na kung anong topics ang kailangan kong aralin, nakasulat na kung kailan ko siya aaralin. Tapos, aaralin ko na lang siya. I'd have to sit in a lecture, and then, pag-uwi ko sa bahay, i-review ko na lang kung ano yung na-lecture that day. So, didactic talaga. I'm a didactic girl talaga. Didactic learning talaga uh, ako. Kaya ako nag-decide naman, review center. And also, another reason is, I wanted to play, I wanted to, uh, even out the playing field for me in comparison to the majority because alam naman natin na most of the most of the people na nag review for board exam ay ay nag enroll sa review center so gusto ko na kung anong alam ng majority alam ko din pero meron din naman akong kakilala ang dami kong kakilala na nag self review sila or nag essential sila kasi kanan yung study style nila um, they're confident with or they'd rather na they be study, they they be studying alone, na babasa nila yung material nila on their own, and that's perfectly fine. Kasi baka ganon din talaga sila sa med school, ganon lang talaga silang classic learner. Kanya kanyang style lang yun. So yun yung sila sabi ko na alamin mo kung anong anong kind of learner ka, kung saan ka nakita thrive. Kasi highly dependent kung paano ka mag prepare, so what's the kind of learner you are, and the kind of student you were back in med school. So let's talk about my study material. Yung primary study materials ko talaga ay top-notch. And yung supplementary notes ko, galing pa rin sa top-notch. Ang dami kong dinownload. Dinow Sabi kasi nila, download mo to, download mo yan. So, dinownload ko lahat. Lahat ng DRS, dinownload ko. Nag-download ako ng AppSite. Nag-download ako ng Robins. Very truthfully. Hindi ko nabasa. <laughs> wala talaga ako sa sa material na binigay nila sa akin and yun lang yung inaral ko talaga 99% of siguro 98 99 99% of what i knew coming into the board exam was basically based off of the lectures and based off of the materials that they gave atong tip ko sa inyo pag ako kasi nagsa sandlex ako hindi para mag-hope na lumabas siya sa actual exam. Nagsasomplex ako to assess what I already know and what I do not know. I have, ah, mahina ako sa cardiovascular. So, dun ako, di ako nakakasabot ko. So, yun yung in-art. Yun yung nagbibigay ako ng extra time para aralin siya. So, ganun ako mag-somplex. Hindi para mag-hope na lumabas siya, but to really assess what I don't know what I need to study for. Anyway, so yun nga, ang primary and supplementary notes ko ay top notch. Kasi nagtiwala talaga ako and masaya naman ako sa board rating ko. <laughs> so study schedule, usually nagsistart yung lectures at around 8 to 5 or means it umabot ng 6. Yun yung schedule and I stuck to it every single day. So gumigising ako at around 5.30 to 6 a.m. And from 6 o'clock to 6.45, I I prep uh, myself to go to the review center. Non-negotiable yun. I have to have breakfast and I would be able to have enough glucose for my brain para makapag-isip and para mag-process ng information. So, no-brainer yun. Kailangan talaga mag-breakfast. And kailangan din mag-breakfast kayo. Uh, suction hot things ako dati. So, pwede mo na siya lakarin. Pero, I drive to... Hopkins, but 
he eats me about 10 minutes. So, 7 o'clock, ando na ako, nakapart na ako. And then, 7 to 8, that's an hour. I spend that time uh, reading backlogs. Backlogs. Uh, then, ng 8 to 5, or 8 to 6, like your proper na siya. I always made it a point to stay hydrated and nagsa snack ako in between lectures. And then yung lunch kasi namin is around 12 to 1. Mga around 11 o'clock or 11.15 <laughs> habang ongoing yung lecture, nagre-rise na ako. <laughs> Kumain ako ng rice, ongoing lecture, mga around 11.15, bumababa ako sa mini-stop kasi pagdating ng 12 o'clock to 1, natutulog ako. So, pag ko, ready na ako ulit for the half day, around 6. So, after the lecture, I eat dinner, and then naliligo na ako after. And 7 to 10, yun na yung second repetition ko. Lahat ng na-touch up ng lecture, uh, I try the best that I can to aral every day. Pero, I don't pressure myself to parang, kailangan ko matapos to agad. Kasi ako, I'm the type of person na pag may binasa ako, I make it a point na near dina digest ko talaga siya. It might be the last time I'll encounter that part of the review review material kasi hindi ko na siya mababalikan kasi wala na akong oras kasi ang dami kong ang dami kong kailangan basahin. So, hindi ako nagpapa-pressure na ah, I have to finish everything kasi we'll talk about backlogs later in in, in this video. Pero ganoon ako. And sinabi ko nga, ba, 10 p.m. tulog na ako. So, around 10 p.m. Uh, whether marami akong backlogs kung natapos ko man o hindi usually hindi ko talaga natatapos pero pagpatak ng 10 o'clock natutulog na talaga ako there were times na umabot ako ng 12 sabi ko push ko kaya yung sarili ko kahit mga 1 hour and 1 hour and a half now so I tried that hindi ako nagpupul, nagpupul ng all nighter talaga kasi hindi ko siya kaya itawid the following morning so yun nga yung nangyari Umabot ako ng 11.30, kakaaral. Pero, pagdating ko sa, pagdating ko sa review center, wala. Tulog-tulog din ako. So, hindi ko na siya inulit ever. 10 p.m. Doon ako nag-stack. Kasi I know that schedule, that study schedule works for me. So, tips uh, na mabibigay ko sa inyo when you go into review review. Tip number one, you have to know what works best for you. Okay? So, yun nga yung sinasabi ko. Uh, alamin nyo kung what kind of learner you are. Kasi, sasama ako kasi magka-coffee shop yung friends ko kung sila mag-aaral. If hindi ka ganong learner, wag mong gagawin. Wag mong sasama sa kanila. If you know na you're more effective on your own, study on your own. Sa two months na yan, be selfish. Gawin mo kung anong, uh, anong sa tingin mo makaka-benefit sa'yo. Yes? Yes. Number two, backlogs. Backlogs. Ako, sobrang daming backlogs ko. Ito, in all honesty, wala akong review material na natapos. Mantra ko kasi, mas okay na na hindi ko natapos. Pero yung mga nabasa ko, ay naintindihan ko naman. And may paghuhugutan ako if ever na I encounter that topic in the actual at least alam ko, may paghuhugutan ako kasi inaral ko siya by heart. Natapos mo nga, pero hindi mo naman maalala. So, ayaw ko, ganun ako dati. Alam ko naman na inevitable yun eh. Inevitable siya. Sinabi na rin ng mga seniors ko yun. Sinabi ko na rin sa kanila na to paano yan, ang dami kong backlogs, ganito ganyan. Tapos sasabihin din naman naman nila, madami na naman akong backlogs yun ang review. So, don't worry, you're not the only person na maraming backlogs. As long as hindi naman sobrang dami yung backlogs mo, parang more than 50% backlogs pa rin. Matakot ka na. <laughs> hindi yung saktong backlogs lang. Hindi naman yung mas marami kang backlogs kasi sa marami kang naaral. Backlogs are fine. Do not panic. Kasi lahat ng nag-take ng board exam, I'm sure may backlogs. So that's fine. That's okay. Tip number three, test yourself now and then. Yun yung sinasabi ko regarding sandboxes. Ako, before, hindi ako nagsasamplex yun nga para, para mag-hope na lumabas siya sa exams. Kasi, long shot yun eh. Siguro yung ma-advise ko, pag nagsamplex ka, 
mag complex ka to know what you already know and to know what you don't know. Para if ever may encounter mo siya sa actual board exam, at least na rationalize ko tong area na to. I'm confident. Hindi ako talo dito. Ganun. Test yourself every now and then. It really helps. So tip number four: Do everything at your own pace. Makaka-encounter at makaka-encounter ka ng mga tao sa review center na magda-discuss kung nasa na sila, kung ano nang aral na nila, ano subject na sila. Sasabihin nila, ah, ganito na ako, page 160, whatever, ganito, ganyan. Tapos ikaw naman, nakikinig ka, narinig mo. Tapos alam mo sa sarili mo na page 88 ka pa lang, so may pressure ka. Do not. Do not listen to what they say. Do not compare yourself with them. Kasi iba-iba kayo ng study style eh. Ako, Sister, go to hell with you, girl. <laughs> Ganyan ako before. So, pag nakakarinig ako ng ganyan, I just walk away. Kasi alam ko naman sa sarili ko na kahit na hindi ako ganun kabilis mag-aral, pinadigest ko naman yung mga nababasa ko. Ang, ang laging standard ko is how I was yesterday. So, at the end of the day, pag nag-aral ako ngayon, iisipin ko, gano'n ba karami ang alam ko ngayon? sa alam ko kahapon. And the answer is always going to be mas marami. Kung i-compare mo yung sarili mo, sarili mo lang, okay? Kung i-compare mo yung sarili mo at the last day of review, yung the first day of the review, exponential yan. Ang dami, ang laki ng in-improve mo. And you should have the confidence in yourself to know na marami ka ng alam. Tip number five, sleep. Matulog ka. Huwag mong papagurin yung sarili mo. Listen to your body. If your body is saying, pagod na ako, for me, there's no point in studying nang pagod ka na hindi mo na rin naman nare-retain. Don't waste time by trying to force yourself to study more kasi hindi mo rin mare-retain yan. Mag-nap ka, matulog ka. So, yun. Tip number six. Have a mentor or someone to talk to. The entire review process and preparing for boards is so daunting. Hindi lang siya nakakabagod physically, but truthfully, emotionally, and mentally, nakakabagod talaga siya. And I'm telling you, towards the end of, siguro mga two weeks before the board exam, or three weeks before the boards, nag-breakdown talaga ako. As in, umiyak talaga. Pagod na pagod na ako. May natututunan pa ba ako? Umuusad pa ba? As for my case, I had Dr. Isle. He was my PGI, and he was really my voice of reason. The entire, the entire review season. Pag pagod na ako, mina message ko talaga siya. Doc, I pagod na ako. I don't think I can do it. Mina to ganon, blah blah blah. Bahala na, bahala na to. It really helps a lot to know that there there is someone who's been there and who's done it. Ibang po siya just to have someone to listen. Hindi talaga kailangan mo na siyang irant. And kailangan mo lang siyang iiyak. Tapos, oh, okay ka na. Wala ka din namang magagawa eh. <laughs> iiyak ka, magdadad ka after. Wala, wala ka choice. Mag-aaral ka lang din ulit. So, yun. Have someone to talk to. Have a mentor. Another tip na I'd like to re- you to remember is there is never enough time to prepare for boards. May isip mo na parang shocks. One, two weeks na lang. One week na lang. Parang bakit parang wala pa akong alam. Lahat kami na feel yan. That's perfectly normal. You just have to go back to the fact na compare yourself back to when you started out reviewing. Day one ng review. And honestly, do some introspection. Compare mo yung sarili mo ngayon or sa last day of review and you'll realize na ang dami-dami mong natutunan. Patuloy ka lang at your own pace that you're comfortable with. Rest in the fact that you're learning something new every day na pwede mong, potentially pwede mong magamit sa board exam. Dadating at dadating talaga yung time na itatake at itatake mo talaga ang board exam regardless kung ready ka or not. So, relax. Uh, my last tip would be marami kasi nagtatanong anong secret? Anong secret sa pagpasa ng boards? Wala. Walang sekreto. Kailangan mo lang ng matinding aral at matinding dasal. And for the times na for the times na pressure ka na, for the times na you're not making sense anymore, just remind yourself that 
that's just your anxiety speaking to you. Compare yourself and do some introspection and compare yourself today than you were on the first day of review. And you'll realize that if if seryoso mo talaga yung review, ang laki ng growth mo. And if consistent ka lang sa pag-aaral, ang laki laki ng growth mo. Hangga't hindi pa tapos ang review season, hindi pa tapos ang laban, marami ka pang, you're still capable of learning so, so, so much. So you need to just regroup sa, sa testing center on the first day. May isip mo, wala, wala eh, wala. Tatlo lang talaga ang kailangan ko. Tatlo lang ang kailangan ko dito. Kailangan ko magtiwala sa Diyos. I need to trust His divine order in my life. Pangalawa, kailangan ko magtiwala sa sarili ko because there's nobody else who's going to do this for me but myself. And pangatlo, tiwala sa kung ano ang alam mo. Kasi yun lang naman talaga yung pag-uhubutan mo. Pagdating mo nun, nakaupo ka, nagtitake nag ka na ng board exam, sinasagutan mo na yung I did what I could. I, 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 I changed what I needed to change within my control. So for the things that I cannot control, please take the wheel for me. So, yun yung magasal ko. And kung nagawa ko, nagawa ng marami, kayang kaya mo rin. Okay? You just need to study every day as if it was the last day of your life. Invest in it. Ilang, ilang buwan lang yan. So once you see your name on that list of passers, super worth it. Telling your parents that you're finally, finally, finally adopted. It's the best thing ever. Kung kaya namin, kung nagawa ko, kaya namin. Magtiwala ka lang sa sarili. So ayun, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, again, lahat ng pinag-usapan natin dito was really based on my experience nung nagbo-boards ako and kung anong mindset ko, kung anong frame of mind uh, ako meron. Uh, ako meron. <laughs> Mahirap ng Tagalog. Pwede mo magbisaya. <laughs> so hopefully, kahit na hindi tayo magkaparehas ng study style and hindi tayo magkaparehas ng method of preparing for the boards, at least you were able to take uh, some bits uh, and pieces of important points that maybe you can use. Uh, whether you're studying for boards now, or just in your gym or as a multiple So yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment down below. Uh, send me a PM. And I would appreciate if you like and subscribe to my videos. Um, and if you have any suggestions kung anong content ko for the next video, just put it down. Just write it down in the comments section. <laughs> so yes, thank you to Judy for suggesting this uh, video content, which is very, uh, very relevant. Because I'm done with the for boards now. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day ahead.